Hey, so let me show you inside the first ever smart video creation and marketing app we call Videos. Now, as you can see, we've got a really nice layout so you can navigate quickly and easily throughout the application. You can go through to our support desk if you've got a question. You can also go through our tutorials page if I just go there now, and you're about to see for every element we've got easy to use step-by-step -step tutorial videos showing you how to use each element. We also have a settings and integrations page where you can integrate directly with Amazon S3 and you can go through and follow the step-by-step -step tutorials and add your API key so you can publish your videos directly onto Amazon S3. We're also connected with Usign, so if you've got graphics that you want to import directly into vid videos and start animating them into a video, you can go ahead and do that as well. And we've got different autoresponders that we, you can currently connect up to. And if one of the autoresponders that you have currently isn't in the application, simply request an integration and we'll connect up to the API so you can use your autoresponder within videos. So let me go through and create a video with you to show you inside Video Studio. Okay, so as you can see, we're inside Video Studio. Now, Video is a drag and drop point and click based interface, so you can go ahead and easily create videos that you want for every type of video you want to create. Now, we also have custom templates that you can go through and select and customize for your specific video. Let's go through and add these slides over here onto the canvas. I'm going to delete this one over here. And as you can see, I've got a really nice looking presentation video. So what I could do is simply go ahead and you know, customize all of this text. I can adjust the size, I can adjust the color and everything I want about this, even the text fonts, okay? Now you can also adjust the animations and simply select one that you like, like so. Or maybe you wanna go with pin bottom, like this one. And we can preview that as well. You can adjust the duration and you can adjust the timing that it comes onto the video. And you can also adjust every single element. So if you wanna go through and animate them in one kind of order like that, you can go through and do that as well, like so. So it comes on one at a time. Or you can bring it back so that it comes on as a whole, like that. You can also mask your animation so that the animation only plays within the actual box you can see. And you go through and select different animations like dive swing and it animates directly within the mask. I'm gonna unmask this one. And what I'm gonna do is just go through and just remove some of these slides from the canvas. Now what I wanna do is create a video from scratch. Let's go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a simple slide. I'm gonna adjust the duration of the slide. You can adjust the colors of your slides. You can go through and select any color you like for your video's background. You can also add on a transition for your slide. So let's go through and preview this one. Nice transitions. I'm gonna select none for this one and go back and add on an element. So let's say, hello. Simple text like that. I'm gonna adjust this to Oswald and bring this up like so and place this in the middle and bring it up to zero like that. Okay, cool. Now what I'm gonna do is add an animation on this. So let's go slide up long like that. And for the art animation, I'm gonna go slide top long. You can also add on looping animations, for example, shake and rotate. And these animations will just work in a continual loop. I'm gonna select none for this one. Now what you can also do is add on hyperlinks directly to your own websites or other affiliate offers simply by selecting on the click, open link in your window, and let's specify a domain. You can also add on a hover animation, like rotate and zoom. And when I preview this video, you'll be able to see when I hover my mouse on the text and click, it instantly opens up the URL that I specified on that element. So let's go back over here. We can also go through and add on background images. And we've got a whole ton of really professional looking built-in images that you can instantly select and add to your canvas. On every slide as well, if you're using an image, you can add on a zoom in effect. So let's go through and just add that on there. And what I'm also gonna do is add on an icon. And we've got a built-in icon library, so you can simply add on any type of element you would like. I'm just gonna go through and add um, a chat icon. So let's go through and search that chat. And I'll bring this one up over here and place this one just in the background though, like so. I'm gonna just bring the transparency down a little bit, maybe to that. And I'll animate this on from 
right to left. So this goes slide, left, long. And out, I'm gonna go slide, right, long. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is duplicate this slide by simply clicking on this button down here. I'm gonna delete this over here. And what I'm gonna do is say, creating videos is fun, like so. I'm gonna position this in the middle. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. So it's in the same kind of size as the hello. And as you can see, we've got some nice looking text. I can go through and customize this animation. Let's go with a, maybe a different type of animation like so. And I'll bring this one as well to zoom out, rotate like so. So what I'm gonna do now is show you inside the translation feature within videos. I'm gonna quickly delete this over here. So what I'm gonna do is go through to the project settings and right down at the bottom, you've obviously got this translation option. So you can translate it as a button or an automatic translation. So this will uh, automatically detect the country that the person's viewing the video from and then automatically t translate it into the text of that viewer. You can also add on a button that gets added to the video player. And then when they click on that button, they can automatically be asked if they want to translate the video into the language of their country. So what I'm going to do is for a preview, simply select the preview settings and go through and select a different language. So let's go through and select um, Spanish for this example. And now what I'm going to do is click on full preview and let's go ahead and preview this video. So you can currently see it's in English right now, but if I click on this button over here, it has a pop-up and it adds the country that you're watching it from. So I'm currently watching from the UK and it's going to ask me if I want to translate the video. Now for this preview, because we've selected Spanish, it's going to go ahead and translate this video into Spanish. And that's how easy it is to adjust the translation feature within videos. Now this is going to open up global marketing for you. And we're also going to be adding in the ability to manually enter the exact translation that you want for specific countries so that you can market in two countries or three countries um, using your own manual translations. Now what we can also do if I just duplicate this slide again, I can go through and add on different types of elements. So you can add on shapes like so and everything can be fully animated like that. We've got different types of shapes. You can use rounded rectangles, circles and things like that. I'm going to delete this for now just to show you that example. Um, you can also add on email signup forms. So we can go through and let's say download my free gift like so. And what I can do now is go through and adjust this entire form like element. So I can go through and adjust the colors. I can make it transparent like so. I can make this a white color and I can remove that shadow at the bottom. And let's go make this text white. And I'm gonna say, download free gift now. I can adjust the size, the text font as well. We've got a whole bunch of really nice looking text fonts as you can see. So what you can also do is add a thank you message. And this message will be displayed once they opt into your email signup form. So let's say thank you, your free gift will be delivered inside your email inbox. What we can also do as well is select different types of settings for the email signup form. Now you can go through and select when the email form appears, what we should do so we could stop the video. So the video will automatically stop so they can go through and add in their email form or their video can continue playing by selecting do nothing. When they join, you can simply select do nothing or resume the video. So what I'm gonna do now is go through and just simply adjust this a little bit and add in a new slide by simply duplicating this. I can adjust the background image as well. Let's go and select that one over there. And I'm gonna delete this element over here. You can also add on live countdown timers specifically for the date that you wanna set. So let's go through and set this one to Feb 16th. I can select the time. Let's go with Eastern time over here and we can adjust everything on here. So let's go and make this a little bit smaller, let's say 32 by 32. And I can bring it over here like that. I can adjust the border, let's make it nice and slim like that. And let's make this background color transparent. And this, let's make this white. I'll adjust this text font as well. Let's go with Oswald. And I'll make this thin like so. 
And also I'm gonna bring up this label over here, make this white like this, and let's bring this height up a little bit like that. Okay, that's looking good. So let's say, this is great for product launches and different promotions. Um, offer ending in just, and we can have our countdown timer here. And this is a live countdown timer which um, continually you know, updates based on the, the date that you select. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is we can add on smart elements directly onto our canvas as well. So I'm gonna go through and add on a smart element. So I'm gonna select this one, let's go to the time slide, and I'm gonna add this slide directly onto my canvas. Now this displays the exact time that your viewer is watching the video. So if I preview this slide, I'm just gonna select off base language for this and let's go ahead and preview this slide. Now you can currently see that right now in the UK it's 9.15 p.m. and that shows the exact time and that helps you to instantly capture people's attention and um, get them to respond to your video. Now I'm also gonna add in the city or let's go ahead and add in the country over here and uh, this will show, you can either show the city or the country of the viewer to instantly, you know, build rapport with your viewers. So let's go through and just add that on like that. That's looking quite cool. I'm gonna add in the same types of animations. Let's see what this one's got over here. I can go to the panel over here, which I've just locked, and I'm gonna go through and adjust this animation. So slide up long and add out animation, slide bottom long. So let's go through and add that same animation so it works in sync. So slide up long and then out, slide, bottom, long. That's simple. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview the slide now. Okay, great. So there's my um, smartwatch over here. Now what you can also do is record your own voiceover narrations. If you go to voiceover, you can enable your microphone and you can either record your voiceover as a standard MP4, MP3 audio track or you can record the, um, the voiceover while you're watching your video. So let's go to open mute preview. And what I can do now is start recording when I push this button and I can start talking. So let's, let's say for example, hello. Creating videos is fun. The offer is ending in just, and you can have the time and you can go through and add on your own voiceover narration. Okay. So what, once you've gone ahead and done that, recorded that, you can call this one, for example, voice over track demo. And you can preview the track button and I can start talking. So you can also save this audio track and then you can also crop your audio tracks as well. So if you've made a mistake while you're talking, you can go through and crop that out as well. Your audio tracks will also be added directly into your uploads. You can see over here, voiceover demo. We can go through and add this to the background or add it to the slide. And then we can go through and adjust this audio. So maybe we want to cut out the first part. Start recording. So I can bring it up to here. Oh, let's say about here. Welcome to this video, I'm recording. You can go through and add on fade in effects or fade out effects like this, so that the audio fades down to the end of the video. And that's how easy it is to go ahead and customize your voiceovers. I'm gonna delete this track from this video. What we can also do is add in audio tracks. You can upload your own audio tracks and uh, you can simply select them, preview them, these ones over here, and I can simply go through and add that to the background. Now these audio tracks are part of the upgrade, but they're just built. Now you can also go through and add in your own audio tracks directly onto the video presentation as well. Now videos also comes with a pre-built in video player. So you can simply select the type of icons you want on your video player. You can select the color of the icon. So let's go and make this one a nice kind of ready color like that. You can even adjust the preload icon and this will basically played once the video started loading. You can see we've got some really fun ones like Pac-Man and things like that. You can select whether you want your video to autoplay, if you want it to continue loop in a video so it keeps playing after it's finished. Um, you can select whether you want to pause and click and things like that. So we've got a nice kind of setup already. So what I can do now is go ahead and preview this video by clicking on full preview and click on play. You can see we've adjusted the video player with this nice color and the icons that we've added on there as well. Okay, 
So what we can also do is save and publish our video directly to Amazon S3. So simply click on publish to S3, and this will publish the video directly to Amazon S3. Then we can get the embed code and add it directly onto our site. Okay, great. So now you can select the dimensions for your video. You can select whether you want it to be centered on the web page and whether you want it to be mobile responsive and simply copy this code and embed it onto your website. And it's that easy and that quick. Okay, so that's just some of the features within videos. And uh, you can see directly all the features on this page as well down below. Um, but we think you're gonna love this software. It's really gonna help you to market more effectively with video and take your video marketing into 2016 with a bang. So yeah, thanks again for watching this video and I hope to see you inside the members area.